hello, and welcome back to Lone Wolf. In life, if people are doubting how far you will go, go so far that you can't hear them anymore. With that thought, let's get started. Chapter 4 Animal Kingdom. When you look around, you will observe different animals with different structures and forms. As over a million species of animals have been described till now, the need for classification becomes all the more important. The classification also helps in assigning a systematic position to newly described species. 4.1 Basis of Classification In spite of differences in structure and form of different animals, there are fundamental features common to various individuals in relation to the arrangement of cells, body symmetry, nature of coelum, patterns of digestive, circulatory or reproductive systems. These features are used as the basis of animal classification, and some of them are discussed here. 4.1.1 Levels of Organization Though all members of Animalia are multicellular, all of them do not exhibit the same pattern of organization of cells. For example, in sponges, the cells are arranged as loose cell aggregates, i.e., they exhibit a cellular level of organization. Some division of labor activities occurs among the cells. In cholenterates, the arrangement of cells is more complex. Here the cells performing the same function are arranged into tissues, hence is called tissue level of organization. A still higher level of organization, i.e., organ level is exhibited by members of platyhelminths and other higher phyla, where tissues are grouped together to form organs, each specialized for a particular function. In animals like anlids, arthropods, mollusks, echinoderms and chordates, organs have associated to form functional systems, each the system concerned with a specific physiological function. This pattern is called an organ system level of organization. Organ systems in different groups of animals exhibit various patterns of complexities. For example, the digestive system in platyhelminths has only a single opening to the outside of the body that serves as both mouth and anus, and is hence called incomplete. The complete digestive system has two openings, mouth and anus. Similarly, the circulatory system may be of two types. I, open type in which the blood is pumped out of the heart, and the cells and tissues are directly bathed in it, and I, closed type, in which the blood is circulated through a series of vessels of varying diameters, arteries, veins and capillaries. 4.1.2 Symmetry Animals can be categorized on the basis of their symmetry. Sponges are mostly asymmetrical, i.e., any plane that passes through the center does not divide them into equal halves. When any plane passing through the central axis of the body divides the organism into two identical halves, it is called radial symmetry. Cholenterates, ctenophores, and echinoderms have this kind of body plan. Animals like anlids, arthropods, etc., where the body can be divided into identical left and right halves in only one plane, exhibit bilateral symmetry 4.1.3 Dipoblastic and Tripoblastic Organization Animals, in which the cells are arranged in two embryonic layers, external ectoderm and internal endoderm, are called dipoblastic animals, example, cholenterates. An undifferentiated layer, mesoglia, is present in between the ectoderm and the endoderm. Those animals in which the developing embryo has a third germinal layer, mesoderm, in between the ectoderm and endoderm, are called triploblastic animals platyhelminths to chordates. 4.1.4 Coelum The presence or absence of a cavity between the body wall and the gut wall is very important in classification. The body cavity, which is lined by mesoderm is called coelum. Animals possessing coelum are called coelomates, e.g., anlids, mollusks, arthropods, echinoderms, hemichordates and chordates, figure 4.3a. In some animals, the body cavity is not lined by mesoderm, instead, the mesoderm is present as scattered pouches in between the ectoderm and endoderm. Such a body cavity is called pseudocellum, and the animals possessing them are called pseudocolomates, e.g., ashelmans, figure 4.3b. The animals in which the body cavity is absent are called acolomates, e.g., platyhelminths. 4.1.5 Segmentation In some animals, the body is externally and internally divided into segments with a serial repetition of at least some organs. For example, in earthworm, the body shows this pattern called metameric segmentation, and the phenomenon is known as metamerism. 4.1.6 Notichord Notichord is a mesotomally derived rod-like structure formed on the dorsal side during embryonic development in some animals. Animals with notichord are called chordates, and those animals which do not form this structure are called non-chordates, example. Poor fare to echinoderms. 4.2 Classification of Animals The broad classification of animalia based on common fundamental features as mentioned in the preceding sections, is given in Figure 4.4. 4.2.1 Phylum Porphyr Members of this phylum are commonly known as sponges. They are generally marine and mostly asymmetrical animals, Figure 4.5. These are primitive multicellular animals and have a cellular level of organization. Sponges have a water transport or canal system. Water enters through minute pores, ostia, in the body wall into a central cavity, spongicle, from where it goes out through the osculum. This pathway of water transport is helpful in food gathering, respiratory exchange and removal of waste. Chonocytes or collar cells line the spongicle and the canals. 
digestion is intercellular. The body is supported by a skeleton made up of spicules or spongin fibers. Sexes are not separate, hermaphrodite, i.e., eggs and sperms are produced by the same individual. Sponges reproduce asexually by fragmentation and sexually by the formation of gametes. Fertilization is internal and development is indirect having a larval stage which is morphologically distinct from the adult. Examples. Sycan, Sypha, Spongilla, Freshwater Sponge, and Eusponja, Bath Sponge. 4.2.2, Phylum Colenterata, Cnidaria, they are aquatic, mostly marine, sessile, or free-swimming, radially symmetrical animals, figure 4.6. The name Cnidaria is derived from the Cnidoblists or cnidocytes, which contain the stinging capsules or nematocytes, present on the tentacles and the body. Cnidoblists are used for anchorage, defense, and for the capture of prey, figure 4.7. Cnidarians exhibit tissue level of organization and are diploblastic. They have a central gastrovascular cavity with a single opening, mouth on hypostome. Digestion is extracellular and intercellular. Some of the cnidarians, e.g. corals, have a skeleton composed of calcium carbonate. Cnidarians exhibit two basic body forms called polyp and medusa, figure 4.6. The former is a sessile and cylindrical form like hydra, atoms, etc. whereas, the latter is umbrella-shaped and free-swimming like aurelia or jellyfish. Those cnidarians which exist in both forms, exhibit alternation of generation, metagenesis, i.e., polyps produce megacea sexually and megacea from the polyps sexually, e.g., abelia. Examples. Physalia, Portuguese man-of-war, Adams, sea anemone, panachula, sea pen, gorgonia, sea fan, and mandrina, brain coral. Cnidoblists or cnidocytes, which contain the stinging capsules or nematocytes, present on the tentacles and the body. Cnidoblists are used for anchorage, defense, and for the capture of prey, figure 4.7. Cnidarians exhibit tissue level of organization and are diploblastic. They have a central gastrovascular cavity with a single opening, mouth on hypostome. Digestion is extracellular and intercellular. Some of the cnidarians, e.g. corals, have a skeleton composed of calcium carbonate. Cnidarians exhibit two basic body forms called polyp and medusa, figure 4.6. The former is a sessile and cylindrical form like hydra, atoms, etc. whereas, the latter is umbrella-shaped and free-swimming like aurelia or jellyfish. Those cnidarians which exist in both forms, exhibit alternation of generation, metagenesis, i.e., polyps produce megacea sexually and megacea from the polyps sexually, e.g., abelia. Examples. Physalia, Portuguese man-of-war, Adams, sea anemone, panachula, sea pen, gorgonia, sea fan, and mandrina, brain coral. 4.2.4 Phylum platyhelminths. They have dorsoventrally flattened body, hence are called flatworms. These are mostly endoparasites found in animals including human beings. Flatworms are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic, and echolomate animals with organ level of organization. Hooks and suckers are present in the parasitic forms. Some of them absorb nutrients from the host directly through their body surface. Specialized cells called flame cells help in osmoregulation and excretion. Sexes are not separate. Fertilization is internal, and development is through many larval stages. Some members like planaria possess a high regeneration capacity. Examples. Tinea, tapeworm, fischula, liver fluke. 4.2.5 Phylum Ashelmonts. The body of the Ashelmonts is circular in cross section, hence, the name roundworms. They may be free living, aquatic, and terrestrial or parasitic in plants and animals. Roundworms have an organ system level of body organization. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic, and pseudocolomate animals. The alimentary canal is complete with a well developed muscular pharynx. An excretory tube removes body wastes from the body cavity through the excretory pore. Sexes are separate, deocious, like Males and females are distinct. Often females are longer than males. Fertilization is internal and development may be direct, the young ones resemble the adult, or indirect. Examples. Ascaris, round worm, witcheraria, filaria worm, and psilostoma, hookworm. 4.2.6 Philomanolita, they may be aquatic, marine in freshwater, or terrestrial, free-living, and sometimes parasitic. They exhibit an organ system level of body organization and bilateral symmetry. They are triploblastic metamerically segmented, and coelomate animals. Their body surface is distinctly marked out into segments or metamers, and, hence, the phylum name Manolita, Latin, annulus. Little ring, they possess longitudinal and circular muscles that help in locomotion. Aquatic anlids like Nereus possess lateral appendages, parapodia, which help in swimming. A closed circulatory system is present. Nephridia, sing. Nephridium, help in osmoregulation and excretion. The neural system consists of paired ganglia, sing. Ganglion, connected by lateral nerves to a double ventral nerve cord. Nereus, an aquatic form, is deocious, but earthworms and leeches are monoecious. Reproduction is sexual. Examples. Nereus, Fertina, earthworm, and Haridinaria, blood-sucking leech.
4.2.7 Phylum Arthropoda. This is the largest phylum of Animalia, which includes insects. Over two-thirds of all named species on Earth are arthropods. They have an organ system level of organization. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triple-blastic, segmented, and coelomate animals. The body of arthropods is covered by a chitinous exoskeleton. The body consists of a head, thorax, and abdomen. They have jointed appendages, a thero's joint, pods appendages. Respiratory organs are gills, book gills, book lungs or tracheal systems. The circulatory system is of open type. Sensory organs like antennae, eyes, compound and simple, statocysts or balance organs are present. Excretion takes place through malpian tubules. They are mostly dioecious. Fertilization is usually internal. They are mostly oviparous. Development may be direct or indirect. Examples. Economically important insects are piss, which is honeybee, bombyx, which is silkworm, laxifer, which is lac insect, vectors anopheles, culex, anaids, mosquitoes, gregarious pest lacusta, which is locust, living fossil limulus, which is king crab. 4.2.8 Phylum Mollusca. This is the second largest animal phylum, figure 4.13. Mollusks are terrestrial or aquatic, marine or freshwater, having an organ system level of organization. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triple blastic, and coelomate animals. The body is covered by a calcareous shell, and is unsegmented with a distinct head, muscular foot, and visceral hump. A soft and spongy layer of skin forms a mantle over the visceral hump. The space between the hump and the mantle is called the mantle cavity in which feather-like gills are present. They have respiratory and excretory functions. The anterior head region has sensory tentacles. The mouth contains a file-like rasping organ for feeding, called radula. They are usually dioecious and oviparous with indirect development. Examples. Pila which is apple snail, pintada which is pearl oyster, sepia which is cuttlefish, oligo which is squid, octopus which is devilfish, aplysia which is sea hare, dentalium which is tusk shell, and cheetopleura which is chitin. 4.2.9 Phylum Echinodermata. These animals have an endoskeleton of calcareous ossicles, and, hence, the name Echinodermata, spiny body to all are marine with the organ system level of organization. The adult echinoderms are radially symmetrical, but larvae are bilaterally symmetrical. They are triploblastic and coelomate animals. The digestive system is complete with a mouth on the lower, ventral, side and an us on the upper, dorsal, side. The most distinctive feature of echinoderms is the presence of a water vascular system which helps in locomotion, capture, and transport of food and respiration. An excretory system is absent. Sexes are separate. Reproduction is sexual. Fertilization is usually external. Development is indirect with free-swimming larvae. Examples. Asterias, starfish, echinus, sea urchin, antidon, sea lily, cucumaria, sea cucumber, and aphira, brittle star. 4.2.10 Phylum Hemichordata. Hemichordata was earlier considered as a subphylum under phylum Chordata. But now it is placed as a separate phylum under non Chordata. This phylum consists of a small group of worm like marine animals with the organ system level of organization. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triple blastic, and coelomate animals. The body is cylindrical and is composed of an anterior proboscis, a collar, and a long trunk, figure 4.15. The circulatory system is of open type. Respiration takes place through gills. The excretory organ is proboscis gland. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is external. Development is indirect. Examples. Blanoglossus and Sacoglossus. 4.2.11 Phylum Chordata. Animals belonging to Phylum Chordata are fundamentally characterized by the presence of a notochord, a dorsal hollow nerve core, and paired pharyngeal gill slits. These are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic, coelomate with organ system level of organization. They possess a postanal tail and a closed circulatory system. Presents a comparison of salient features of chordates and non chordates. Phylum Chordata is divided into three subphyla Eurochordata are tunicata, cephalochordata, and vertebrata. Subphyla Eurochordata and Cephalochordata are often referred to as protochordate and are exclusively marine. In Eurochordata, notochord is present only in larval tail, while in Cephalochordata, it extends from head to tail region, and is persistent throughout their life. Examples. Eurochordata ascidia, salpa, delilum, Cephalochordata branchiostoma, amphioxus or lancelet. The members of subphylum vertebrata possess notochord during the embryonic period. The notochord is replaced by a the cartilaginous or bony vertebral column in the adult. Thus all vertebrates are chordates, but all chordates are not vertebrates. Besides the basic chordate characters, vertebrates have a ventral muscular heart with two, three or four chambers, kidneys for excretion and osmoregulation, and paired appendages, which may be fins or limbs. 4.2.11.1 Class Acostomata. All living members of the class Acostomata are ectoparasites on some fishes. They have an elongated body bearing 6 to 15 pairs of gill slits for respiration. Cyclostomes have a sucking and circular mouth without jaws. Their body is devoid of scales and paired fins. 
cranium and vertebral column are cartilaginous. Circulation is of closed type. Cyclostomes are marine, but migrate for spawning to freshwater. After spawning, within a few days, they die. Their larvae, after metamorphosis, return to the ocean. Examples. Petromazon, lamprey, and mixin, hagfish. 4.2.11.2 Class Chindrichthys. They are marine animals with a streamlined body, and have a cartilaginous and a skeleton. Figure 4.19. The mouth is located ventrally. The notochord is persistent throughout life. Gill slits are separate and without a perculum, gill cover. The skin is tough, containing mini placoid scales. Teeth are modified placoid scales that are backwardly directed. Their jaws are very powerful. These animals are predaceous. Due to the absence of air bladder, they have to swim constantly to avoid sinking. The heart is two-chambered, one auricle and one ventricle. Some of them have electric organs, e.g. torpedo, and some possess poison sting, e.g. trigon. They are cold-blooded poikilothomous animals, i.e., they lack the capacity to regulate their body temperature. Sexes are separate. In males, pelvic fins bear claspers. They have internal fertilization, and many of them are viviparous. Examples. Scoliadin, dogfish, pristus, sawfish, carcharidin, great white shark, trigon, stingray. 4.2.11.3 class Astyches. It includes both marine and freshwater fishes with a bony and a skeleton. Their body is streamlined. The mouth is mostly terminal, figure 4.20. They have four pairs of gills that are covered by an operculum on each side. Skin is covered with cycloid ctenoid scales. The air bladder is present which regulates buoyancy. The heart is two-chambered, one auricle and one ventricle. They are cold-blooded animals. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is usually external. They are mostly oviparous and development is direct. Examples. Marine Exocotus, Flying Fish, Hippocampus, Seahorse, Freshwater Labio, Rohu, Catla, Catla, Clarias, Magar, Aquarium Beta, Fighting Fish, Girophilum, Angelfish. 4.2.11.4 Class Amphibia, as the name indicates Amphi. Dual bios, life, amphibians can live in aquatic as well as terrestrial habitats, figure 4.21. Most of them have two pairs of limbs. The body is divisible into head and trunk. The tail may be present in some. The amphibian skin is moist, without scales. The eyes have eyelids. A tympanum represents the ear. Alimentary canal, urinary and reproductive tracts open into a common chamber called cloaca, which opens to the exterior. Respiration is by gills, lungs, and through the skin. The heart is three-chambered, two auricles and one ventricle. These are cold-blooded animals. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is external. They are viparous and development is indirect. Examples. Bufo, toad, rana, frog, hyla, tree frog, salamander, salamander, ichthyphus, limbless amphibia. 4.2.11.5 Class Reptilia The class name refers to their creeping or crawling mode of locomotion, Latin, repair rectum, to creep or crawl. They are mostly terrestrial animals, and their body is covered by dry and cornifeed skin, epidermal scales or scutes. They do not have external ear openings. Tympanum represents ear. Limbs, when present, are two pairs. The heart is usually three-chambered, but four-chambered in crocodiles. Reptiles are pachytherms. Snakes and lizards shed their scales as skin cast. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is internal. They are viparous and development is direct. Examples. Chelone, turtle, testudo, tortoise, chameleon, tree lizard, callus, garden lizard, crocodilus, crocodile, alligator, alligator. Hemidactylus, wall lizard, poisonous snake snodja, cobra, bungarus, crate, the pear, viper. 4.2.11.6 Class Aves. The characteristic features of aves, birds, are the presence of feathers, and most of them can fly except flightless birds, e.g., ostrich. They possess beak, figure 4.23. The forelimbs are modified into wings. The hind limbs generally have scales and are modified for walking, swimming, or clasping the tree branches. Skin is dry without glands, except for the oil gland at the base of the tail. And the skeleton is fully ossified, bony, and the long bones are hollow with air cavities, pneumatic. The digestive tract of birds has additional chambers, the crop, and the gizzard. The heart is completely four-chambered. They are warm-blooded, homoiothermic animals, i.e., they are able to maintain a constant body temperature. Respiration is by lungs. Air sacs connected to lungs supplement respiration. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is internal. They are viparous and development is direct. Examples, corvus, crow, columba, pigeon, cetacula, parrot, struthio, ostrich, pavo, peacock, aptenidites, penguin, neofron, vulture. 4.2.11.7, class mammalia, they are found in a variety of habitats, polar ice caps, deserts, mountains, forests, grasslands, and dark caves. Some of them have adapted to fly or live in water. The most unique mammalian characteristic is the presence of milk-producing glands, mammary glands, by which the young ones are nourished. 
They have two pairs of limbs, adapted for walking, running, climbing, burrowing, swimming, or flying. The skin of mammals is unique in possessing hair. External ears or pinnae are present. Different types of teeth are present in the jaw. Heart is four-chambered. They are homoeothermal. Respiration is by lungs. Sexes are separate, and fertilization is internal. They are viviparous with few exceptions, and development is direct. Examples. Viviparous ornithorhynchus, platypus, viviparous macropus, kangaroo, pterapus, flying fox, camelus, camel, macaca, monkey, ratus, rat, canis, dog, felis, cat, alephas, elephant, equus, horse, delphinus, common dolphin, balanopter, blue whale, panther, tigris, tiger, panther, leo, lion. Summary, the basic fundamental features such as level of organization, symmetry, cell organization, coelum, segmentation, notitured, etc., have enabled us to broadly classify the animal kingdom. Besides the fundamental features, there are many other distinctive characters which are specific for each phylum or class. Porifera includes multicellular animals that exhibit the cellular level of organization and have characteristic flagellated chonocytes. The cholenterates have tentacles and bear cannibalists. They are mostly aquatic, sessile or free-floating. The ctenophores are marine animals with comb plates. The platyhelminths have a flat body and exhibit bilateral symmetry. The parasitic forms show distinct suckers and hooks. The shelminths are pseudocolomates and include parasitic as well as non-parasitic roundworms. Anlids are metamerically segmented animals with a true coelum. The arthropods are the most abundant group of animals characterized by the presence of jointed appendages. The mollusks have a soft body surrounded by an external calcareous shell. The body is covered with an external skeleton made of chitin. The echinoderms possess spiny skin. Their most distinctive feature is the presence of a water vascular system. The hemitridates are a small group of worm-like marine animals. They have a cylindrical body with proboscis, collar and trunk. Phylum Chirdata includes animals that possess a notitured either throughout or during early embryonic life. Other common features observed in the chordates are the dorsal, hollow nerve cord, and paired pharyngeal gill slits. Some of the vertebrates do not possess jaws, agnatha, whereas most of them possess jaws, apostomata. Agnatha is represented by the class, Cyclostomata. They are the most primitive chordates and are ectoparasites on fishes. Athostomata has two superclasses, Pisces and Tetrapoda. Classes Chindrichthys and Astychthys bear fins for locomotion and are grouped under Pisces. The Chindrichthys are fishing with cartilaginous and a skeleton and are marine. Classes, Amphibia, Reptilia, Aves, and Mammalia have two pairs of limbs and are thus grouped under Tetrapoda. The amphibians have adapted to live both on land and water. Reptiles are characterized by the presence of dry and cornifeed skin. Limbs are absent in snakes. Fishes, amphibians, and reptiles are poikilothomous, cold-blooded. Aves are warm-blooded animals with feathers on their bodies, and forelimbs modified into wings for flying. Hind limbs are adapted for walking, swimming, perching, or clasping. The unique features of mammals are the presence of mammary glands and hairs on the skin. They commonly exhibit viviparity. So this was all about animal diversity. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe to stay updated to the new chapter, so with that said, until next time, good luck.